Hi, Louise here. Today I am going to show you how to do a bubble 3D effect on some text. So I've started cr by creating a new Figma file and creating a frame. So we're just going to jump right in. First off, we start with a, a box a frame, text frame. We're going to put each letter into its own um, frame so that we can get the effect nice. There we go. So I've chosen a bold, thick font. This one is Black Hand Sands, um, but any bold, uh, thick font will work well. So we're just going to do all the letters individually. So we have our, our bubble, the word bubble. Um, we're going to move them around a bit, play with the letters, so that when we do the effect, it looks like it's floating around like some bubbles. There we go. Once you are happy with your layout, you can start giving it, filling it with some colors. I'm gonna do a linear gradient with some pastel colors to add to the effect of a bubble. Make sure your gradient is at 100% capacity else the um, effect's not really gonna work well. Okay, there we go. We have all our, our colors ready. Now the stroke is off. Copy it with Alt Drag. Then at the, the bottom bubbles, you're gonna convert into shapes. Control Shift O. That does not need a stroke. The top text layer, you want to give it a stroke. So we're going to give that a white stroke. Then let's give it some volume. Four points. Let's see why now. Now you take the converted shape and move it below the text shape. Lock the text shape so that we don't keep clicking on it. And move it up. And al already you can see the 3D effect. But we're going to edit the shape slightly, drag it down a little bit. Now, I'm going to double click, hit P on our keyboard, add a node, hit V to unselect it, and then drag that node that you've added to the corner. So it gives that illusion of 3D. Once you're done, you click done and you have your shape. Quick and simple, we're going to repeat the process with all of the letters. Move that down, lock the text, text frame <laughs> and edit it. Hit P to add a node and edit the node. Move it up. Hit P B and move the node up. Once you're happy, you hit done.
there we go. Now, this stroke does seem to be, now that I'm looking at it, the stroke on the text layers seems a bit thick. So I'm going to unlock the text layers, select them all by click clicking Alt click, no, Control click, and only selecting the text layers. Go down to stroke, and maybe make it a two. There we go. That lo looks a, li a little bit better. Now to add a bit more of the uh, bubble effect, we're going to take the pen tool, zoom into our letters, and add a curve with a stroke. Just a little curve like that. Once you're happy with the curve, you hit done. Obviously, we don't want it black. Change the color to white. Now, on the effects panel, you're going to hit the plus sign, and it's going to give you a drop shadow. We don't want to use the drop shadow. We want to go down the selection bar and hit layer blur. Now, because the the stroke is only at one point, you can't really see it, so we can up that a little bit. And there we go. And we're just going to repeat that process again using your pen tool, curve, done, effects, drop down, layer blur. And there we go. Just do that with all the letters. Okay, so now you see I've made a mistake here. I didn't click done when I was done with the first first B. So now it's linking together. We don't actually want that. So we're going to go control Z. Now go back there and hit done. Click off of it and then do another stroke. Click V then do the effect drop down layer blur hit done hit p and do the another other stroke hit done add the effect the letters that aren't round because of the font is a little bit tricky uh, because you're now adding a curve in the reflection where there's not really a curve in the letter. So you can actually just play around with it and see what works for you. Sometimes adding a curve helps, other times just adding a straight line can also give you the same effect. See what works better. Let's add a curve here around the, the corner. No, that doesn't work. So I'm just going to... You, you also need to consider where the light source is coming from. So that's why you have all the, the blur effect almost at the same angle uh, because you you're considering where the light is coming from so in this case the light would technically come from my left hand side and that's why the highlight is on the right and the shadow at the bottom is to the right at the bottom so just imagine the light shining from the left top and that's why you're shadows and your highlights is then on your right.
here we go. That was a quick way of making a bubble effect on your copy. So now you can either copy this into your design or you can export it as is. Now remember everything that is in your frame has been put into a group here on your left. Anything that is outside of that frame that is not in that group will not be exported. So if you want to export this, click the frame, scroll down to export right at the bottom. Decide whether you want a PNG, JPEG, PDF or SVG. You can also click preview and see exactly what will be exported. You click export and it goes down into your downloads folder and yeah that's it that's our text for the day um, i hope you enjoyed that and find that useful let me know what else you guys want to see cool see you guys tomorrow bye